They're called healing oils, and proponents say they can do anything from disinfect your house to help you lose weight. In fact, there's a good chance you could already be using some of those products. Tonight in a special report, News 13's Ashley Searles looks at how popular they've become and how they may cure what ails you. To me, it's like the essence of the plant. It can shift someone's energy, like, instantly. It smells good. A lot of people use essential oils whether they know they're using it or not. Look at the labels in your medicine cabinet or under your sink, and they're probably already in there in some form. My goodness, even, even Vicks VapoRub. You know, eucalyptus oil, menthol, camphor. But now, essential oils in their purest form are becoming popular. People are asking me about it, or they're saying that they have used it uh, for a wide variety of reasons. Dr. Eric Lewis has a naturopathic medical practice in Asheville. He specializes in combining science with holistic healing. A lot of people use it to boost their immune system, especially this time of year. A sleep well is probably the best one. Um, At Dreaming Earth sleep Botanicals, well is, where is Sleep Well, Jim? Right here. Look at this. Frank Comito and his wife handle about 80 orders of essential oils every day from all over the world out of the Merriman Avenue shop. A lot of people are becoming interested in it just because they're trying to get away from um, some of the medical treatments, the Western medical treatments, um, and they're looking for alternatives. The business has tripled in size over the last seven years, making the oils Comito compares to making moonshine. You take organic plant material, steam the oil out of it, put that through a still to separate out the water, then you're left with pure essential oils. Frankincense, um, vetiver are both great oils for ADD and ADHD. The people are now using for just about anything. I mean, it's not a, a, you know, a panacea, it's not going to cure everything, it doesn't do any magic, um, but different people react differently. When we smell an oil, it like goes directly into our limbic brain. It's like the primordial brain. So it's a seat of our emotions. Krista Hebel, who's in the process of getting clinically certified in using the oils, says their effect on people can be scientific. It helps us on physical level, psychological level, spiritual level, and has been for thousands of years. And so I feel like now people are kind of beginning to remember um, and people are really curious. Through our research, it doesn't appear that genuine essential oils have ever been debunked as wholly ineffective, but rather studies are now showing they're powerful enough to kill some cancer cells and potentially strong enough to replace antibiotics. Dr. Lewis, in certain circumstances, encourages patients to try them out, but with guidance. You can find some really technical textbooks that, that discuss the chemistry of this, and so a lot of people understand uh, the power of these, and, and anything that, that, that's powerful can be used for, for benefit or, or can cause harm.